Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome back, loves. I hope all is well, Archers. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. I appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you so much for your continuous love and support. And welcome back, subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing and your comments and your feedback down below. I see you, I hear you, and I appreciate you, subscribers. Thank you. And welcome, Sagittarius, to the ones that are new here. Thank you as well for tuning in today. It truly is a blessing. Thank you so much. I hope today's content fulfills your spirit. I hope today's reading give you enlightenment as well. All right. So no further ado, Archers. We're going to go ahead and dive in. All right. We're going to see what is the energies that are surrounding you. We're first going to start with an oracle message here. And then we're going to dive into some tarot to see what's coming towards you for love and romance. And of course, we'll close out with some word advice. All right. Garden angels, ancestors, what do we have for Sagittarius places? What's the collective messages here today for Sagittarius? What's the collective messages here today for Sagittarius? What do we have for the archers? Trust, Sagittarius. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. All right. Trust the process that you're in. Trust the situation that you're going through. Trust that everything is happening in the divine's order. And be sure to always listen to your intuition. Uh, that gut feeling you get, that energy you feel, it's all your intuition and inner voice that is guiding you throughout this human being experience, Sagittarius. And your guardian angels, the universe wants you and need you to trust this process, all right? Wow. So let's go ahead and dive into some tarot. That is your oracle message here today from your guardian angels. Let's now dive into some tarot. Let's see what's coming towards you for love, Sagittarius. Let's see who is in your energy here and why. What do we have for Sagittarius placements for tarot? What's going on in Sagittarius's love life here, Gordon Angels? What do we have for Sagittarius? What's going on in Sagittarius's love life? What do we have for the archers? We got the Nine of Cups here. Someone or something is being able to fulfill you on an emotional level. Or there is someone that wants to fulfill you on an emotional level here. Or they see you as someone that can fulfill them. All right. This could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Someone is looking at you as a wish for fulfillment, Sagittarius. Okay. Let's clarify the Nine of Cups here. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups here. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups energy here, please. Thank you. We have the Queen of Cups here, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces energy here. This could be a spouse for some of you all. This could be your partner, someone that you were in a commitment with. This could be the mother or the father of your child. Wow. Oh, shit. Then we have the Empress in Reverse. Yeah, someone here is definitely off balance in this situation. It's funny because when I was meditating and getting ready to get in your energy, Sagittarius, the card for the oracles, the card came out was actually your energy. It was a balance card, and then it was the patience card. And I was like, wow, both of those cards are Sagittarius energy. So there could be a situation that is causing you, Sagittarius, to be off balance here with the Empress in reverse, all right? She's not able to be, uh, you know, stable, nourishing-wise, um, feminine-wise. Uh, she's not being able to be successful at what it is that she does in the upright, I'm sorry, in the reverse. And this could be due to a situation with another feminine energy here. Something is off with the balance of the connection here. Let's clarify the empress. Why is the empress coming up in reverse? Okay. 
We got several cards that came out for this. We got the King of Swords energy that is air elements. Some of y'all, this person could be an air sign. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius here, Sagittarius. We have the Nine of Pentacles here, Virgo energy, Capricorn energy, and Taurus energy there. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. Wow. So I feel like there's a situation here where someone is wanting again to offer you an opportunity of a commitment or a relationship. But I see that you're holding back Sagittarius being in the Four of Pentacles energy. Some of y'all are content with your single livelihood right now where you're not wanting to accept any offers. Uh, some of you all are in a state of where you're financially building for yourself with the Nine of Pentacles here. Uh, so you may not be open or in the space to be in a connection or relationship right now. Some of y'all are obviously all balanced here with the Queen. I'm sorry, with the Empress being in reverse. Yeah, we got the three of wands here. Some of y'all definitely decide to turn your back on this situation. You're not wanting to move forward with this person. It just seems that you're pretty much focused on yourself, Sagittarius, and things that you have put in motion here. This could have been weeks ago, years ago, or even months ago. Whatever this is, this is an energy that stands here to be patient and wait intentionally on the things that they've manifested and they also be patient with that as well all right so i feel like that's the space and the energy that you're in due to cause of holding back here because you have other ideals and things that you have been trying to you know manifest itself in the 3d realm wow look at that the ace of cups sagittarius and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone is definitely trying to get your attention and wanting to manifest an opportunity here with you. But again, I don't see you wanting to, you know, cooperate here for some of you all with this person here. Wow, this could be due to a third party situation with the King of Swords, the Empress in Reverse, and the Queen of Cups. Some of y'all, this was a third party situation that this person may place you in is why you're not one to accept this person's offer here. Let's see what is this person hitting feelings here towards you, Sagittarius. What is this person hitting feelings here towards Sagittarius? What is this person hitting feelings here towards Sagittarius? What is this person hitting feelings here towards Sagittarius? I couldn't let you get close to me. Wow, Sagittarius. So someone here may was in so much of a guilt of a consciousness of the things that they may have done or said to you that it just didn't feel even more right to have you around or they would have felt more guilt the more that you were around, the more guilt they would have felt for the things that they've done or the things that they've said to you, Sagittarius. So they just would prefer you not to be around so that way you're not able to get close to this person so they don't have to go further into details or feel the guilty consciousness. Others of you all, this person may have already been hurt once before in relationship and they don't want to get close to you and allow that to happen to them again. Some of y'all, this person fear getting in a relationship or a commitment due to their past experience here. Wow, Sagittarius. So let's see what's next in love for you. Thank you. And then we'll close out with some more advice here. We have engagement, Sagittarius. Your love life is extending to a higher level of commitment. Yeah. And this is why you are knowing exactly what type of people or energies here that you're rejecting because you know the type of relationship you want. You know um, the type of level of relationships that you're at right now right? You have evolved. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So no more of the low vibrational energies. You recognize the difference in between the two. You've learned the difference between the two. So you now know what to get yourself involved in and who and what you're not going to get yourself involved in. So do know that what's next in love for you are going to be more connections here. As you can tell, the couple is like a mid-age couple. So they've been through 
somewhat of experiences to know exactly what type of relationship moving forward that they do both want to accomplish here for themselves okay and that's the space i feel like that you're in and unfortunately this person that may be offering you this opportunity you may feel like this person is nowhere near on that maybe that timeline we're all on different timelines we're all on different spiritual paths right Wow, so let's get you some close out word advice for Sagittarius before we end your reading today. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. I definitely hope the reading has resonated for you, Archers. All right, let's get you some word advice here. And if you're new here again, subscribe. We would love to have you, Archers, a part of the Soul Family. And if you would love to book a personal reading, I am available today for personal readings. My email details are down below in the description box, Archers. If we want to see what's next in love for this energy here, we could definitely do a personal reading to dive deeper into that energy to see when is that around the corner for you, okay? Let's get you some close out advice here. What do we got for the Archers? Wow, look at that. We got peaceful resolution, Sagittarius. Wonderful. So whatever didn't work out between you and maybe someone in the past or whatever the situation that you're coming back around with another solution, it's going to be a peaceful solution this time. So if this was a conflict with you and a person, if this was a conflict with you and your environment or a community or a family, uh, whatever this may was that you had a difficult time resolving, that is coming back around for a peaceful resolution here. All right, so that's good news, right? This is a person, a place, or a thing. And then we have improving health, all right? So good job. Your angels are very proud of you. The universe is proud of you for improving your health, taking consideration your health. So whatever it is you're doing to adjust your health, which could be your mind, your mental state of mind, your physical uh, vessel that you're improving and taking care of as far as your health, uh, you know, your emotions, it all has to do with improving your health. So whatever it is that you're doing to take the necessary steps to do that, good job. Keep doing what you're doing, Sagittarius. And I wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Bye-bye.